you go to the highlights of the match presented by America First Credit Union, America First All-Star Roster Products, tools, services, help you reach your financial goals faster. Become a member today at AmericaFirst.com. Now, I, I, I forgot half of these goals, just like <laughs> Albert Rusnak. But I'll tell you what, Chofis Lopez, individual mistakes leads to individual brilliance. Right place, right time, anticipation, anticipation, and more anticipation for Rubio Rubin. So it was 1-1. What changes were made? Well, Johnny Menendez comes out. Paulo Ruiz comes in. He finds Albert Rusnak. Shimmy, shake, goal. That made it 2-1 for Real Salt Lake. And Albert, that technique inside of the foot, just overpowering JT Marcinkowski. Chofis, Chofis. Oh, uh. Chofis and more Chofis. And David Ochoa. I mean, there, there's four chances for Real Salt Lake to take the ball off the foot of Chofis Lopez. And what a fantastic goal that was. Now, Christian Espinosa, he comes in and what was it? Four changes in the 64th minute. And this is an ugly one. Now, I wonder if Paulo Ruiz doesn't touch this, if David Ochoa gets a strong touch to it. But what an Olympical goal this is from Chofis Lopez. Justin Merrim gets a touch. Osvaldo Alanis, he can just react under the crossbar. Again, goal scored, leveled scoreline. Long ball up over the top. And now this is the changing point. And give credit to Daniel Ratford and Nima Sagafi. Nima Sagafi shows red. This isn't about ref equity, by the way. This is just utilizing the technology given that plays to the favor of Real Salt Lake. It was not a red card for me, not a red card for Daniel Radford. It ends up being not a red card for Nima Sagafi as he withdraws the red and shows yellow. Justin Merrim finds Albert Rusnak, plays the ball into Rubio Rubin. What a run from Rubio Rubin. He gets his second of the night, a fantastic goal. Fantastic goal from Rubio Rubin. And Anderson Julio in behind is a big save from JT Marcinkowski. And we got into nine minutes, nine minutes. Osvaldo Alanis tags this ball, parried out of pressure from David Ochoa. And for Paul Marie, he tries to react quickly, can't keep his head 